Under departing head coach Mike Mock, Kenton football has established a winning tradition and sent a lot of athletes onto Division I programs. Senior Matt Barr is the latest Wildcat to make the leap. This week's OIO prep profile highlights the defensive back who signed his letter of intent to play football at Kent State in the fall. With his family and Coach Mock at his side, Barr put pen to paper, making it official that he will wear navy blue and gold next time he steps on the football field. Early in the summer, I went to a football camp there, and uh, I was lucky enough to do all right there and got to talk to the coaches, and uh, they invited me up for a summer uh, visit and got to talk to them there, and uh, just felt comfortable there. And then on my visit, I just kind of knew that that's where I wanted to go and was a place I wanted to end up. Matt was a tremendous player for us on the football field, but he's an even better uh, role model for our football team off the field, uh, a great leader, great work habits, outstanding student, uh, comes from a great family. He epitomizes the best of what you're looking for in a high school student athlete. Matt is a four-year varsity letterman, and on top of many individual honors, he won three WBL championships, two regional titles, and started as a sophomore on the state runner-up team. Kenton's just a great place to play. I mean, a great tradition here. Coaching staff is uh, by far one of the best in the state of Ohio. And uh, Coach Malk was there with me the whole way. He's been my coach for all four years of high school and just been a great role model for me. And the guys, I mean, just a great group of guys. I learned when I was really young. I watched Max Morrison and Matty Malk and Bryce Facklin, those guys, and their work ethic. And as you move up, you just kind of pick it up where they left off. And that's how uh, we were able to have some great success here. Well, Matt Barr is going to be one of the finest football players we've ever had come through here. Uh, we've had a lot of outstanding players. We had uh, several of them this year, but uh, Matt's uh, determination, his hard work, uh, his desire to exceed and go beyond the call of duty, and he ranks up as one of the very best we've ever had. The qualities that made Barr successful in Kenton are the same that will help him at Kent State. As a leader of FCA, Matt learned a lot about how to handle different situations both on and off the field. It's just teaching how to deal with people. And uh, football field, you've got uh, on defense, we have 11 guys, and I was responsible this year for 10 of them, and it just helps the way you communicate. You don't have to yell when a bad play is made, you just try and pick them up and be positive. It was a tough recruiting process for me. I mean, things happened really late for me, and just trying to stay positive throughout the year. And God was there with my side, and going to FCA every Friday gave me a positive outlook. You know, it's kind of exciting to see him graduate and, and, and the type of legacy that he's left, and the the example he set for others to follow. And I know he'll do extremely well at the next level. Even though Barr is moving on to the next chapter of his career, the three-sport athlete will never forget his time in the red and white. Putting on that Kenton jersey every Friday night, seeing it in your locker on Thursday night, and then running on the field. Our fans, when we uh, play rah-rah for Kenton, and they go crazy after a touchdown or an interception. It's, just, it's unlike anything I've ever been around. This is going to be a little part of me that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. In Kenton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.